This is Duke University. Two Duke students were part of this year's biggest find in anthropology. Seniors Kelly Ostrowski and Tawny Sparling analyzed fossils of two protohumans named Australopithecus sediba while collecting data for their senior theses in South Africa. We spent the four weeks in Johannesburg taking measurements at the Raymond Dart collection at the University of the Witwatersrand. We were compiling a database of modern human um, skeletal measurements related to our thesis, so I was working on the lumbar vertebrae and the sacrum. My senior thesis that I'm working on is titled The Shoulder of Australopithecus sediba, and it's basically about the biomechanics, evolution, and locomotion of the shoulder joint. These are the lumbar vertebrae from MH to the adult female. Um, they actually articulate with uh, the remains of the sacrum, uh, which is kind of cool. <laughs> uh, so we know that these are the ultimate and penultimate lumbar vertebrae. I'm working with a full scapula for Sediba, and all of the other specimens that I'm working in, it's just bits and pieces, and it was just, it makes you really appreciate what Sediba has to offer. I was in a class with Steve Churchill. It was a human evolution class and just at the beginning of the semester I asked if I could volunteer in his lab. At first I was just painting casts but then towards the end of the semester he asked if I would like to get the opportunity to go to South Africa possibly over the summer um, and start a project for my senior thesis. So I got involved with this project also through starting working with Dr. Churchill after taking a class. So I volunteered in the lab. I did some research for him on different ideas. I had taken osteology beforehand, so I was really interested in, in bones and their morphology and, and why they're shaped the way they are, how that relates to function. Going to the site was a really fun experience. It was the first time I had been at an archaeological site. It was amazing that it's just this hole in the ground right now, but so many amazing things have come out of it. We used a, a grant, a summer fellowship grant, in order to pay for our trip this summer, and we also have more opportunities to get more support from Duke. It was a really great experience to see uh, maybe how I could fit into that type of work in the future. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.